Go see your primary care provider at least once a year, people. Let's do that, okay? You're worth it. You are worth it. I'm gonna talk about cholesterol and why it's important for you to get checked by your provider. If you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jamisia Capri, the nurse practitioner extraordinaire. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're already subscribed, welcome back extraordinary people. I appreciate you so much. Today I wanna to talk about cholesterol. We don't think about cholesterol that much because cholesterol does not make us feel bad. It doesn't make us feel like we're going through anything different, but I'm gonna tell you it's important. So you need to get it checked out. Go see your provider. Make an appointment every year, get your cholesterol checked. Even if you just do it once a year, at least you're on top of it. Now, cholesterol is pretty much just a waxy, fatty substance that deposits in your arteries. And what happens when that, when that occurs, uh, basically what happens is your artery begins to narrow, like such, like so. And when your arteries narrow, then the blood that's flowing to your uh, vital organs is either cut off, slowed down, or could pretty much just die. I mean, it doesn't die immediately like that, but um, you'll get some type of um, additional vessels that will, that will um, develop, and then you will be able to get some blood flowing to that particular part of the heart or up to the brain, but you don't want that. You don't want your cholesterol to get off track at all. So check it out. Now, if you get your cholesterol checked and you're looking at your numbers and you really don't know what they mean, I'm gonna break that down for you really quickly. Your total cholesterol, we don't want to be more than 200. If it's somewhere from say 200 to 239, then you're getting in the, the range of, hey, I gotta eat right, I gotta work out, I gotta do something about my cholesterol. If you're getting somewhere where it's above that 239, 240 and above, then you're having a, a little bit of a problem. Your provider may consider putting you on what's called a statin to control it. Now, my main thing is if you can control it, if you can not get to the point where your cholesterol is high, then don't because once you get this fat in your arteries and it starts to block, there's no way to cure it. There's no cure for it. We can just kind of slow some stuff down at that point, but it's, uh, you know, you've heard the, the old adage that an ounce of prevention is worth more than a pound of cure, something like that. Anyway, so that's your total cholesterol level when you're looking at it. Then you're looking at your LDLs and your HDLs. And the way that I remember this is the LDL is pretty lousy and the HDL, I'm happy about it. So the LDLs are lousy, the HDLs are good. We're happy with it. So if your LDL, we the LDL we want to be less than 100. And if it begins to be somewhere between 100 and 129, your borderline, if it's over, I think it's a hundred I'm gonna put the numbers up but I believe if you're over a hundred 130 to 159 then you're getting pretty high anywhere over 190 then you're really high and you're really gonna have to go on some medication that's your lousy cholesterol you do not want that one to be high your happy cholesterol you do want to be high um, if it's less than 40 then you're either not working out enough you're eating too much fat and you need to get that to be higher so um, you would like for your HDL to be somewhere from 60 and above so that it can kind of combat the LDL. So you might've heard in the medical world that if your HDL is high, it will kind of combat your LDL. Now they're not saying that as much as they used to. So, you know, the, the research has changed on that, but still having a high HDL is good. That's the happy one, remember that. Um, your triglycerides, that's uh, another level that we want to be somewhere at least 150 and below. We don't want that to be high. Your uh, borderline is somewhere between 200 to 500. Anywhere over 500 is you're getting in that area where it's pretty dangerous. 
So my advice to you is this. With your cholesterol, you don't know when it's, when, it's, when it's elevated. You don't feel anything. That's what makes it so dangerous. You know, you heard about, hey, your uncle or whatever, he was fine, he was just fine the other day, but now he's in the hospital with a heart attack. Well, he wasn't really fine. He might not have been getting his lipids checked, his cholesterol checked. So um, even with having a high cholesterol, you can, it affects your blood pressure. It affects, uh, you could have some chest pain from it. So you really want to take care of your cholesterol if you can. Now being transparent, my cholesterol is a little bit high, but not to the level where I uh, have taken any medication. And I'm starting to think it's kind of hereditary, but either way, I do everything that I need to do. I try to watch my diet, I work out, I try to do everything I need to to try to control the cholesterol because I don't want to be on any medicines. I uh, am currently not on anything. I just take vitamins. Um, so I said all that to say, go see your primary care provider at least once a year, people. Let's do that, okay? You're worth it. You are worth it. Go see your primary care provider. Get checked out. If you have a video that you want me to do, that you want me to explain something, leave it in the comments. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, take care. I'll see you till next time. Bye-bye.